I know tech YouTube is about to go crazy about the iPhone 15, but I'm really glad you found this video in the middle of all the iPhone noise. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 is fast becoming one of my favorite smartphones like ever. It's very close actually between this and the S23 Ultra for me, but there are some accessories out there that really improve the experience of the Fold 5. Whether you care about protection or convenience, I'm gonna take you through what I found so far to be my favorite accessories for the Fold 5. Roll the intro. What are you talking about? There's no intro, huh? No? Okay. Starting with protection options, not least because I smashed my S23 Ultra, that's a story for another video, but that sort of thing does remind me of the importance of protective cases, right? Regardless of how much manufacturers like Samsung will tell us about Gorilla Victors and, you know, it's glass at the end of the day and any toughening that they do, it's only gonna help with scratches, but if you have an unlucky drop like I did with the S23 Ultra, not much will help you there. Now, when talking about protection for the Fold 5, I've got to mention Samsung's own cases. And if you don't like cases, bear with me, I've got something for you as well in this segment. Okay, where are the cases? When I ordered the Fold 5, I added these two cases from Samsung themselves, as they each offer something different that I really appreciate. This one here is the Slim S Pen case, and for me, it literally transformed how I use the Fold. I'm not even exaggerating here, but you knew there was a but coming, right? It's not perfect. Having damaged my S23 Ultra, I've been forced to use the Fold 5 a lot more than I normally would. One small problem I have with this case is the design around the fingerprint sensor. I mentioned this in previous videos, but I think the case kind of sits too close in this area here where the fingerprint is, and sure, you kind of get used to it, and it actually doesn't make any difference to detecting the fingerprints, but it's a tactile sort of thing, you know? It feels weird, like there's something in the way. I'd love to see Samsung make the contour here in this area a little bit more refined. It's already soft and slightly curved, but it feels to me that in this area here near the sensor, we could have a gentle sort of relief here. Is that even a word? Anyway, I hope you understand what I mean. And Samsung, if you're watching, give me a call if you want to discuss it. I've had case manufacturers actually change the design based on my feedback before. So, you know, I've got experience and um, I'm serious. Slide into my DMs. Hmm, that came out wrong. One thing that really surprised me about this case is the strength of the stickers to keep this in place. As a tech reviewer, I'm constantly taking shots of the device itself with different cases and indeed sometimes without any cases at all. But I must have removed this case at least 20 times now and the sticker is still going strong. I mean, it doesn't move at all. Some of the cheaper cases that you might get will send you actually replacement stickers because after two, three times, they'll actually get very loose and it's not a great look. I know because I've tried those myself with the Fold 4. And yeah, I'd also like to see a little bit more grip on the actual sides here. The material is fine. I mean, especially at the bottom bit here, it would be nice if there were some grooves in here so it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide out of your hand. Removing the S Pen or putting it back is no issues at all. I mean, this mechanism here works perfectly. And this is the other Samsung case with a strap and a kickstand option. And the name of the game with this case is convenience. Sometimes you wanna enjoy maybe catching up on YouTube or Netflix or Instagram or whatever it might be, right? But instead of using a stand, you just want something to prop the phone up. Sure, you can just use the Fold's design itself and watch it on a half screen like this, or you can take advantage of this case and use the entire screen, which I think is much nicer. In this case, there's a little trick up its sleeve. The kickstand at the back comes out and you can replace it with a strap, like that. So now you can get a much better grip on the Fold, but much more comfortable. I know a few professionals that would appreciate this as well as it allows them to show the screen to other people. So you could be making changes to a design or a medical prescription and you could quickly show the screen to your customers, you know, get them to interact with you or whatever without the fear of dropping the device. You know, there's a very real problem for me. The reason I didn't take the Fold 4 with me outside was because I was really scared to death I would drop it. And knowing me, the chances of that happening are pretty high. The standing case with the strap is the case now that I will take with me if I'm going for like a weekend trip somewhere or going for a long walk, that's much safer for me. Now, last year when I got the Fold 4, I wasn't really thinking about cases and although I did review a couple of brands, I decided it was best to just stick with a leather skin like this one here from Dbrand. I thought if it's good for Mr. Mobile, then it's good for me, right? They're not sponsoring this video, by the way. Come on, Dbrand. Now that Linus is canceled, maybe you can afford me. Just kidding. Or am I? Dbrand also makes some great grip cases for the S23 Ultra, but for the Fold, they only seem to do the skins at the moment. I'm told they're actually working on something fairly soon, so I'll keep you updated on that. Make sure you subscribe, of course, so you don't miss out on that. They do have some wicked designs like the Obsidian here and the Triple Black, but I just usually go for the brown leather one. I love that one, but in short, you have plenty of options with them. I gotta say though that this option is gonna be more suitable for people who, you know, like to keep the folding doors most of the time anyway, but it doesn't mean you can't have a case and a skin at the same time. That's totally possible too. Now let's talk about cables. Seem to be a massive talking point right now, especially USB-C cables. Hmm. 
I wonder why. With the Samsung phones, you get the usual really boring black USB-C cables. It does the job, but it doesn't reach very far. And although it's very durable, it doesn't look it. Depending on your taste and your setup, you might want something a little bit more better looking, shall we say, and also more functional. You know, you might be charging your phone at home and you want to display this. And these cables from Chubby Cables are great. Gotta love the name. Awesome quality. They obviously look great, but for me, it's about the material quality as well that they use here. And the fact that I'm able to use this with fast charging and obviously fast data transfer as well. I mean, look at them. Even the cable ties that come with them feel really top quality, very premium. But aesthetics is not everything with these cables, you know? They're extremely capable. Like I said, they're able to support up to 100 watt charging and fast data transfer as well. There's a ton of options. And as you can see here, they'll work with chargers, with laptops, in your car, you name it. For me, it's just really nice to have these in my tech bag. And because of these nice bright colors, you know, they're quite hard to leave behind as well. I must have lost count of how many cables are left in hotel rooms, offices, you know, trains and things like that. And if you have an iPhone or iPad, AirPods, right, still using lightning cables, no problem at all. Chubby cables will have lots of lightning options for you as well. I know Apple are finally joining the rest of the world, right, in USB-C land, but those lightning devices are gonna still be knocking around for a while. They come in really nice pouches and storage cases like this one as well, and the material feels really, really premium. Whether you choose a braided design or a silicon material one, both options feel really nice. What I noticed too is that they stay clean, which is a really nice bonus. This is the Curly Chubby. Well, apart from having the best name, that's my favorite one because it's quite compact when you put it away, but when you need it, it will stretch as well. It's really cool. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link in the description for you, but feel free to pause the video here and get the QR code if you're watching this from my TV. Just make sure to use the coupon code Alex for 10% off your purchase. And big thanks to Chubby Cables for sponsoring this video and making this video possible. Now, if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your Fold, which I love, I mean, the Fold has a fantastic camera. I have just a thing for you. This is definitely becoming one of my favorite accessories for the Fold, which is the Insta360 Flow. This here is the creator kit, and just like the Fold 5 itself, it has a foldable design and lots of cool features. Obviously, what we care about here is stabilization. Of course, the Fold 5 has super steady and the stabilization in general is pretty good for handheld anyway. And you can go a step further by turning super steady on, but that will limit the resolution a little bit. With something like this, you can go all the way to 4K60 or even 8K30 and still have a super stable footage. I mean, it's fairly secure here, but I'm not even sure if this is for the Fold. I'm pretty sure, you know, it'd be better with the S23 Ultra. It seems to be secure enough anyway. things I do for you, huh? This is fantastic for vlogging, but also great if you like to kind of get creative with your shots, right? For Instagram or TikTok or whatever, you can do some really cool stuff with this. It comes with a selfie stick built in and a mini tripod. And on top of all that, the battery lasts all day on this. One of my favorite features is called Deep Track 3.0. I know, marketing, right? They really did think of everything though. Even a spotlight here for better lighting depending on where you're recording. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. You might think it's not important, but it really makes a big difference. It helps me get the channel discovered out there. And as someone who still creates content as a secondary business, you know, it's pretty tough. It's quarter to eight in the evening. It's usually when I get to create content, you know, after work. But one of the best ways to support me is by liking this video. Don't buy my merch, it's crap anyway. But sharing this video, liking this video is way more important. And I'll take that above everything else right now. Now, a big sort of bugbear of mine is how crappy car accessories are in general. And that problem is compound with one of the most annoying things about the fold itself, which again, is the lack of accessories for it. It took me ages to find a decent car mount and one that works well with the Fold and other devices as well. I think they now have newer versions, but this is the one I got from Amazon actually for the Fold 4 and it still works for the Fold 5 as well. I have a second one coming from Timo of all places, but I'll share that in another video. This one I've got looks pretty dope though, especially in the dark, which is quite rare with these car mounts. Now this one is not so much an accessory, but it's a digital accessory, I guess we could say. This live wallpaper is probably the most requested wallpaper on the channel. I must have responded to hundreds of you asking me about, you know, where to get this. I think it's about $2 and you can find it under Samsung themes. All you gotta do is search for Elite Black in there. I don't have any affiliation with the person who created this, but I wish I did <laughs> because I sent so many people over there already. It's a lovely wallpaper, what can I say? And I've also been quite busy working on my own wallpapers if you like to check them out. Like I said, if the choice is between you buying something for me or liking and sharing this video, I'll take the like and share any day of the week. And if you're new here, take a look at the channel. And if you like my stuff, it would be awesome if you subscribed. I'm here at least once a week with a new down to earth tech video for you. This honeycomb one is a very popular one. So lots of people ask me for it and it's free, but there's lots more options on my page. Again, if you're watching this from my TV, you can pause here and scan the QR code. And talking of options, actually, here are some videos for you that you can watch about the Fold 5. And I think you're gonna like those. And if you watch them already, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this one here. See you soon.